ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, even extraterrestrial life tuning in from another planet. We are back again with another top five video weapon list that are slapped even after the season two update. Wait, there was a season two update for the zombies? Oh wait, no. Well, I sure hope everyone else is enjoying the new update as they patiently wait for season two reloaded. But anyway, let's start and with no particular order, the weapon list. The tiers, the tier pistols are quite the tumble to rumble with, as these behemoths really pack a punch when they're literally pack a punch to level 3, and running around in the tier 3 zone, I'd personally recommend having another weapon on your loadout, as these things are great at almost anything, but I'd definitely keep your wits about you, as some of them HVTs don't mess about. But the tiers are absolutely incredible, especially when akimboed, and you will have much fun with these. So here is the full attachments. The CS15 Scarlet Mounted Laser, the ZIW-16 Heavy Long Barrel, the 12.7x55mm Snake Shot Ammo, the Ulu's Fury Trigger, and the Akimbo's themselves as a rare grip. Next in the list is a rather interesting one. It might surprise you, and stay with me here on this, as it's actually an LMG, but actually, a war buy. Let's say you go down, lose your stuff, you haven't got a legendary weapon rarity on you, but you can still pack a punch. Then the DG58 LSW is the go to weapon. It's incredibly powerful, clearly wipes out hordes, and it even tackles the mega abominations rather well. Here are the. Oh, wait, no. This weapon already has attachments, and there's no attachments that we get added to it as it's a war buy. With the predetermined attachments, it's still really good, so worry not. And like most of the weapons on the list, the upcoming Mags of Holding schematic in Season 2 Reloaded, you'll be well away of emptying the weapon reserve so much that even the Mega Abomination will run away from. This is a tier 3 weapon buy. Bear in mind, as it's a legendary weapon rarity and almost guaranteed on spawning at one of the few locations in tier 3, but it isn't always in the same spot, so do make sure to check out a few of them if not all, if you're looking for that particular LMG. Next in the list is the ray gun. No, I'm joking. Sure, it got a buff, but no, seriously, we're not going there. But we do have the Sidewinder. The Sidewinder is quite interesting type of weapon that you wouldn't expect to be a heavy hitter in the exclusion zone, let alone in tier three. But you hold that trigger down and watch the undead fall once again. This is great at clearing out the Mega Abomination also. And you might see from the footage here, I actually did run this with the weapon War by LMG. That's in tier 3. And they seem quite a good combo. Definitely not the best, but something that I felt made tier 3 easy enough to navigate seamlessly without any issues. So here are the attachments. The Rattleback Deadeye Barrel. The RB Regal Heavy Stock. The RB Borealis Grip, the 30 round drum magazine, and the FTAC MSP 98 hand stop on the barrel. So, the Tomfer, I've never used the Tomfer before season two, so I apologize to those that have mentioned that the Tomfer has already been nerfed, but I tried it anyway. And at least for me, it still slaps really well. Literally, you gotta definitely keep moving about a little bit, be a bit daring with it, and it does its job really good at clearing small halls or so. And it's just fun to use and pair this with something like Elemental Pop and also an ammo mod like Shadow Blast, which is something I feel strongly about, but I'm open to other suggestions, so do let me know down in the comments. And similar to the War Buy again, there's no attachments for this. It's quite simply there. There aren't any. But for those who don't use this anymore, as you've been said and it's said to be nerfed, then let me know what else you use in the comments below, if anything. I'll be interested to find out. Then finally, we have the drum roll, please. No, actually, the P90 or the PDSW or something. It's the P90 to me, and this weapon is hella fun. You pap this baby all the way to pap free and mmm. Mm, watch it melt everything in its path as it gives you 400 juicy rounds for you to play with. And once I cleared out a hold, I actually didn't want it to stop firing so much I actually kept it firing. And it was just so incredible, nice to use, except for when it sounded really tinny and the um, the audio. But here are the attachments. The 18.75 Cloak 90 barrel, the Stovel Tack Laser, the VX Pineapple Underbarrel, and the GR33 Light Rail, Cronin a Mini Pro Optic. And that is it. That's all the top five weapons from the list. And make sure to check out the other 
video that will be at the end of this one of the previous top five list. Not sure if they're still really good to use. I've yet to use most of them. I feel the WSP has always be absolutely behemoths to use in the exclusion zone. So do let me know your thoughts and your top five loadouts and what you feel on these on mine and just a few games of my playtime so far, what I've found and plenty more with, you know, with the meta and nerfs that keep happening, things do change. But that is everything here from today at Cryptic. Thank you so much. Please leave your thoughts and feelings in the comments below. But until the next time, stay safe, stay frosty and goodbye for now.